What if the deadliest weapon in a nation's arsenal was the one you could never see? For decades, the crushing depths of the world's oceans have been the undisputed territory of American and Russian nuclear submarines. A silent, exclusive club holding the balance of global power. But that balance is shifting. Deep beneath the waves, a revolution is underway. China is quietly deploying a new generation of submarines that aren't just minor upgrades. We're talking about revolutionary new hull designs that make them a silent, deadly threat and propulsion systems that seem to defy belief. Today, we're revealing the underwater warfare innovations that are changing everything. For as long as submarines have existed, the real fight has been about one thing. Sound. The quieter the sub, the deadlier it is. The classic way to hunt these steel sharks is with active sonar, sending out a ping and waiting for the echo. For years, the best defense was to absorb that sound with special rubber coatings. But China is changing the game. They're not just trying to absorb the sound, they're trying to make it disappear. Meet the Type 039C, Yuan-class submarine. The first thing you notice is that it just looks different. Its sail, the structure rising from the main hull, isn't curved. It's angled, with sharp, flat surfaces, looking more like a stealth fighter jet than a sub. This is no accident, with this design, China is among the first to put a truly stealth-shaped submarine into active service. The angled profile is engineered to scatter an incoming sonar ping, deflecting the sound waves away from the enemy's receiver instead of bouncing them straight back. This drastically shrinks the sub's sonar cross-section, making it incredibly difficult to find, let alone target. This design is a direct response to a major shift in undersea warfare. As modern submarines get quieter, passive sonar, just listening for engine noise, gets less effective. That means navies are turning back to active sonar, and the Type 039C is built to counter that. While naval pioneers like Sweden and Germany are developing similar concepts for their future A-26 and Type 212CD submarines, China's Type 039C is already in the water and operational. This gives them a real-world advantage. These stealth submarines are believed to be key assets for any potential conflict, designed to covertly lay mines and strike at naval targets during a blockade scenario. Armed with advanced torpedoes and YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles, the Type 039C isn't just hard to find, it's a potent hunter-killer. It's a clear signal that China is shifting from an imitator of naval tech to a trailblazer, fundamentally altering the tactical map of the Indo-Pacific. While a stealthy shape helps a conventional submarine hide, it's always had an Achilles heel. The need for air. Diesel-electric subs have to surface or use a snorkel to run their engines and recharge their batteries, making them incredibly vulnerable. Air Independent Propulsion, or AIP, helped, but it came with its own trade-offs in speed and endurance. But now, reports suggest China has developed a propulsion system that could make those trade-offs a thing of the past. It's a technology that sounds like it was ripped from a spy thriller, a shaftless rim-driven pump jet. In a typical sub, an engine turns a long, noisy driveshaft connected to a propeller. The new Chinese system reportedly being fitted to its next-generation nuclear submarines, like the Type 095, gets rid of the shaft entirely. Instead, a ring-shaped electrical motor is housed inside the pump jet itself, turning the rotor directly. Fewer moving parts mean less noise, less vibration, and a much smaller acoustic signature. In short, it could make their new submarines exceptionally quiet. This type of innovation, combined with an integrated electrical propulsion system, would also free up massive amounts of power for advanced weapons and sensors. This shaftless pump jet technology is so advanced that it could give Beijing a serious edge. While the US and UK are exploring similar systems for their future Columbia and Dreadnought-class submarines, those boats aren't expected to enter service until around 2030. On a much more speculative front, Chinese scientists are also publishing research on laser propulsion. In theory, this sci-fi concept would use powerful lasers to vaporize seawater, creating plasma explosions for thrust. Researchers claim this could generate force comparable to a commercial jet engine while creating a layer of gas bubbles around the sub, a phenomenon called supercavitation, drastically reducing drag and allowing for potentially supersonic underwater speeds. While this technology is still firmly in the lab, 
it shows the sheer ambition of China's R&D. These propulsion breakthroughs, from near-term pump jets to far-future laser drives, are game-changing innovations aimed at creating a faster, quieter, and deadlier fleet. Beyond its conventional subs, China is dramatically expanding and modernizing its nuclear-powered fleet, the ultimate guarantor of a nation's power. The goal is crystal clear. Build a credible, survivable, sea-based nuclear deterrent and project power far from home. At the heart of this strategy is the new Type 096 Ballistic Missile Submarine, or SSBN. Expected to become operational before the end of the decade, the Type 096 represents a monumental leap in capability. It's being designed for extreme stealth, reportedly incorporating technologies like an internal machinery raft mounted on complex rubber supports to dampen noise, a feature found in advanced Russian subs. Its redesigned hull is also expected to eliminate the prominent turtleback that housed missiles on older models, making it even quieter. The whole point of the Type 096 is to be a ghost. To disappear for months at a time, armed with China's most advanced submarine-launched ballistic missile, the JL-3. With an estimated range of over 10,000 kilometers, the JL-3 allows the Type 096 to hold targets across the continental United States at risk without ever leaving the heavily protected bastion of the South China Sea. Each sub will likely carry a significant number of these missiles, cementing China's place in the global nuclear club. But China's underwater strategy isn't just about massive, crude submarines. It's also pioneering the future with a huge investment in extra-large uncrewed underwater vehicles, or XLUUVs. These are giant, autonomous drone submarines, and China's program is one of the most ambitious in the world. They're already showcasing models nearly 20 years long, and these aren't just for spying, they're designed to be armed with torpedoes, mines, or even missiles. Imagine swarms of these robotic subs being sent on the most dangerous missions, hunting enemy submarines or attacking the sophisticated undersea sensor networks that form the backbone of US surveillance in the Pacific. They could disrupt shipping lanes or overwhelm an enemy's defenses, all without risking a single human life. By displaying these drones in military parades, China is sending an unmistakable signal that it plans to lead in this disruptive new arena of warfare. What we're seeing is more than just an expansion of the Chinese Navy. It's a profound technological transformation happening in the shadows of the deep ocean. From the sonar deflecting hulls of the Type 039C to the whisper quiet pump jets of its future nuclear fleet and the impending arrival of the strategic Type 096, China is methodically building an underwater force to challenge the current world order. It's no longer a question of quantity versus quality, China is now pursuing both, blending mass production with homegrown, cutting-edge innovation. Its focus on asymmetric advantages, ultra-quiet subs, robotic fleets, and advanced missiles, is designed specifically to counter the traditional strengths of its rivals. And the development of a secure South China Sea bastion for its missile submarines is a core part of its strategy to make its nuclear deterrent untouchable. The depths of the ocean are the new frontier of global competition. The innovations we've talked about today are more than just engineering marvels, they are silent, deadly tools of geopolitical power. And they are rapidly shifting the balance of power beneath the waves. The real question isn't if China will become a dominant underwater power, but what the world will look like when it does. What do you think is the most game-changing innovation we talked about today? And can the US and its allies adapt in time to maintain their edge? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve on military tech and global power shifts, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.